In this video, we are going to create a start screen and a welcome screen in Canva and upload it into DSLR booth. Here is the start screen we are going to create and here is the welcome screen. Let's go ahead and jump into Canva to create our design. To start, you will click on create a custom design and then select custom size and enter your size. The size of your start screen in Canva should match the size of the screen that will be used at your event. You can check this under Windows, Control Panel, Display, Display Resolution. A shortcut that I like to take when creating templates is to type my theme into the Canvas search and look for the templates that are already created. I love this shortcut because all of the elements match and the colors and fonts are already picked out. Let's click on design in the top left hand corner and type in Quince Aneda to the search and select one of these templates. Now that I have my design selected, I'm going to remove and rearrange the elements to my liking. Let's begin with the start screen. I'm going to remove most of the text and two of the butterflies by highlighting it and selecting backspace on my keyboard. Now I'm going to move the butterflies over as well as the text. I'm going to update the text by clicking into it and adding Quince Aneda. Next, I'm going to add a photo by clicking on Uploads to the left and clicking on Upload Files. I would like to remove the background on this photo, so I'm going to click on the image and select Remove Background. If you do not have the Pro version of Canva, you can go to remove.bg to remove the background for free and then upload that image. Next, I'm going to add a tap to start button. I'm going to grab the text from the template I started with, but you can also click on text to the left and select your text. To create the background button, I'm going to click on effects and select background. I also want to have this button animate. To animate the button, I'm going to click on animate and go to the bottom and select pulse. Next, I want to add an animated background. Click on video to the left and then select butterflies. Right click on the image and then select replace background. You can edit the amount of time this video plays and you can also adjust the transparency. Our start screen is now finished. Now let's move on to our welcome screen. Starting with the original template, I'm going to remove the text and update it with press the camera button to begin. I'm also going to make this butterfly bigger by clicking on the sides and expanding it. I'll also add a background color by clicking on the background and clicking on the white color and selecting a new color. We are finished with our welcome screen. To save our start screen, we are going to click on share in the top right hand corner and then download. Since we have an animation, we are going to save this as an MP4 video and then click download. To save our welcome screen, we are going to click on share in the top right hand corner and then download. Since this is a static image, we are going to save it as a JPEG or PNG and click on download. Now let's add our start and welcome screen to DSLR booth. Open DSLR booth and click new event. Name your event and click on customize settings. Let's add our start screen. 
Here on the screen editor page under welcome screen, we are gonna click into settings to the right and scroll down to start screen video and click choose and then add our media. Then select choose again. Next, let's add our welcome screen under screen editor, welcome screen, click on image and then add your welcome screen. Next, let's send this image to the back so that we can see our capture icons. To edit our capture icons, click on the blue dropdown in the top right hand corner and select capture settings. Turn off GIF, boomerang and video by deselecting them. Now let's go back to screen editor by clicking on the blue dropdown arrow. Click on the photo icon and move it into the position that you want. You can also upload your own custom icon to the right. You can resize it by clicking on the corners or to the right by adjusting the width or height. If you would like to remove the word print under the icon, go to the settings on the left under capture screen settings. Toggle off booth icon labels. Now we are done with the welcome screen. Click on the blue drop down and click on launch event. You've now created a fully customized start screen and welcome screen in Canva and successfully uploaded them into DSLR booth. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.